Michelle's a big Arsenal fan. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Um, good morning to both of you. Um, I think that it's it, honestly, it sounds a bit dramatic, but I, I run a small business and we work in schools. Um, and when the school shut, I went from doing 100 hours a week almost to doing literally nothing. Uh, and the first lockdown was hard because everything I loved and everything I, I did in my spare time and my work and my staff and my family, it all went. It's just It just went. And then when football started to come back, in some way, I started to come back as well. It gave me a break from worrying. It gave me a release. I could watch my team. I could watch all the teams around me. And it just it just kind of saved a little part of me. It gave me normality when there was normality. And, and just, again, just following from the other reader, um, the other listener, sorry, um, listening to TalkSport, you guys trying to make the best of a really terrible situation with no sport. You know, just that normality. I love sport and I could turn the radio on and I could still listen to sport and I could listen to you guys. And then the football came back and it was just, I don't know what I would have done, to be honest with you, if sport hadn't started to come back and if I couldn't have watched the football. I know it sounds dramatic, but it's just a massive part of my life. So so thank you, like the other caller. But, but yeah, it's just kind of saved me a little bit. Michelle, thank you, and 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 keep positive. And I, I take it you do feel positive, do you? Oh, much. Yeah, I mean the the football coming back, the children are back in school. Yeah. Um, the business won't be as as it was, but everything has to change, and it's a it's a time to be more positive. It's a time to be more appreciative. It's a time to make changes and and not to not to take things for granted. And I hope that everybody. You know, even though we've all been affected in different ways, I, I hope that, the, I don't know, it sounds corny, but we all take, we don't take things for granted anymore. We enjoy these moments. We enjoy going back to normality and we just enjoy each other. You know, the importance of that. So, yes, most definitely um, in a much better place. <laughs> but football helped me get there. So, so yeah. Michelle, your call was a wonderful one. I think the boys can get Michelle's number, can't they? Yeah, before we... Before you before you go, Michelle, leave your number with one of the lads um, and then when lockdown is over and we're, we're free to move about a bit more, would you like to come in and, and join Simon and I? You can come in and see the show. Oh, my God. Oh, it, I've won the lottery. Oh yeah, you can God, do yes. that. No, Michelle, you'd be, so, you'd, we'd be delighted oh, to have you. Wow. that Jim, you have, you have made my year, Simon. I can't wait to meet. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, he'll be Where here. That's the downside. Careful Michelle. what you wish for, Michelle. <laughs> The listeners are going to hear me cry. I don't want that, Jim. But yes, I would do that. And thank you, Jim. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Michelle, you're, you're about to speak to Joe, one of the producers in the show, and he'll take your number and we, we'll keep in touch. You'll, you'll come in. You know where we are, right beside the Shard at London Bridge. You, you'll be able to find us. I don't know where Michelle was calling from. Michelle, that was a great call and we thank you so much for doing it. James, a big Newcastle fan. Now, James, I mean, Newcastle, life is tough for them, but um, in spite of all that, does watching Newcastle on the telly get you through it? Hi, Jim. Hi, Simon. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely does. I mean, just um, you know, I've loved my football, I'll always watch it. But just being able to see every game now is just uh, yeah, it's just great. Uh, I know, even, yeah, obviously Newcastle are not in the best of places now, and uh, you know, uh, things need to change, things need to turn around. But just just seeing them actually playing and and all the other, I mean, I'm watching pretty much every football game you know on a Saturday <laughs> you know, put, stick on Sky Sports or BT in the morning and uh, leave it on for the day so uh, it's just it's just helped get through and, and you two boys as well um, definitely got to say you know as the other callers have said um, a big thanks you know I've listened to you in the mornings uh, throughout the day working from home and uh, even la at the end of last year I'll just quickly say that um, I had a couple of anxiety attacks where I just oh, I'd never had them before. I didn't understand what was happening. wasn't sure what was going on. And definitely one of the things that helped was uh, seeing a video where Simon talked about his, um, he's had previous things similar, I think. And uh, just seeing that, it just it was definitely one of the contributors that helped me get through it and just uh, haven't had them since. So uh, a big thank you to you two boys. Thank you, James. James, thank you for that. And you haven't had any anxiety attacks since, James. You're, 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 you're doing well and you're feeling well, are you? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think, uh, I, I don't know, I think probably the lockdown and everything all got the best of me. And uh, But uh, yeah, definitely got through. And uh, yeah, I think uh, knowing that lockdown is hopefully ending soon uh, definitely helps. But uh, yeah, big thanks. Good man. Simon as well.
Thank you. James, thank you so much for the call. Uh, Simon, I think at this stage this morning, on on this day, one year on, we just want to thank everybody who does listen to us in the mornings oh, because yeah, this interaction that we get very is, much so. is uh, primarily yeah, very I mean, important. You, you don't us. always appreciate the value that the shows can produce. And when you hear callers come in, it makes you proud of the work that you do and the substance that you have or do or have, don't have at times. But when you're listening to, to, to listeners that are enjoying this, what's been opened up over the last 12 months is a whole raft of intrigue about football. Because we haven't had games to talk about, we've talked about other aspects of football, how the personalities hang together, who manages, what it's like to own a football club, how the finances are. Some of it's interesting, some of it's some of it is enlightening, but most of it was uh, something that people could listen to and draw something from. And I'm pleased that, that it's had the effect because, you know, ultimately broadcasting comes with a great deal of responsibility, doesn't it? Responsible broadcasting is what we should all want to do. And if people like to, you know, people are going to disagree. I'm, surprised, you know, I'm pleased to hear that a Newcastle fan quite likes me. Because <laughs> Of course they do. Hey, listen, mate, from what I see, they all like you. They love you.